Hello and welcome to the Out of the Sandbox video guide to the blog page. Today I'm going to talk to you about the theme settings associated with the blog page so that you can configure your blog page to look the way that you like. A lot of the settings will also apply to the article pages that are contained within the blog. Just to be specific about who this video is for, this is for the most recent versions of the Out of the Sandbox Shopify themes at the time of this uh, taping. So that would be Responsive 5.1, Mobilia 4.3, Retina 3.2, or Parallax 2.4, or more recent than those versions. Um, the reason is because there are updated settings for in these versions of the theme that uh, will not apply to previous versions of the theme, and there's a few aspects of Shopify as well that have been updated since those versions of the theme, and if you would like to have support for those new features, then you will need to um, update your theme. Uh, now let's just take a look at the various blog pages so you can get an idea of the different formats and... Um, the different layouts that you can achieve with the built-in settings. Here we've got the Parallax theme, the Aspen demo, and this is the blog page. Now the Parallax theme is a bit unique out of the Out of the Sandbox themes for the blog page because it does have this banner image section at the top, this Parallax banner image. Um, then whenever you access an article, here's a Parallax style scrolling banner image the other themes do indeed have a, a banner image on the article page, but not on the blog page. And only Parallax has the Parallax style scrolling effect. So that's what the Parallax blog page looks like. Here's Mobilia. This is the blog landing page. Formatted one article per row. And then this is what an article looks like. You can take a look at the responsive theme here where the sidebar is enabled on the blog. This is an article. And finally, the retina theme, where we've got four articles per row configured. And then this is what one of the articles looks like. Okay, so to cover sort of the anatomy of a blog post. I'm going to jump back into my Shopify admin panel here. So let's say I landed on my admin panel. I jump over to online store blog posts. And here are all of the blog posts we have on the shop now, but I'll just show you what it would look like if we were to add a new blog post. This is where you could title the blog post. This is where you could add your content. That content could be in HTML or you could add it right into the editor here. Then if you're looking to add a preview of the article on the blog page or on the home page, you would use this add an excerpt link, which opens up another content field here. Finally, and this is a new feature of the blog page, is the featured image. So you can select a featured image here and then it will appear on the blog page and in the out of the sandbox theme, it will appear as a full width banner image, like what you see here. And we have a few guidelines for the um, image dimensions. Um, we suggest that your featured images be 1000 by 500 pixels minimum. And if you are planning on using the full width option, then we would suggest probably closer to 1400 by 700 pixels and some kind of rectangular aspect ratio. So like a two to three, sorry, a two to one or a three to one aspect ratio, um, something like 1400 by 500 pixels would be uh, just perfect. So um, I'll throw those dimensions into the comments here in case you wanted that as a guideline. So that's really the anatomy of a, of, of a blog post. Um, now let's look at the theme settings associated with the blog page in detail. So I'll use the responsive theme as my example here. Um, so here we've landed on the blog page and to access the settings I would go in through, uh, just to show you here, it would be in through online store, themes, customize theme, and then blog page. And so then on the left here I've got a live preview of the shop so my changes um, before I save them will appear live in the preview. 
just to show you the various layouts that you can achieve by changing the number of articles per row. And we're using a different number in each of the various demos, so you can flip through them to see um, how they appear. The breadcrumb links, if I enable them, that's the little path that you use to get to the blog. So you can um, show the pagination as well if you've got more than one page. You can tag articles. I may not have covered that here. Whenever we uh, are editing our blog posts, can add tags down in this section. And that makes the article easier to search and find. Um, not only that, you can list the tags right on the blog page here. And then again in the blog sidebar, if you'd like to show the tags in the sidebar as well. You can enable and disable the name of the author appearing. You can enable the published date to appear. Show the number of comments. You can have a read more link appear to prompt the reader to continue to the article page. Otherwise, the title will still link to the article page, but in case you'd like something explicit to show that you can keep reading, you can enable that link. Then whenever we jump into the actual article page itself, we've got that banner image, which can be full width, or it can be just its regular size inside the article container. And we've got this section at the bottom of the article that shows other articles from that blog. And you can enable and disable that section using this setting. Finally, if you're looking to have your blog title stand out a little bit more, you can darken the article um, banner image. So this is without it darkened. With it darkened, as you see, the title does indeed stand out a lot more. Here are the sidebar settings. Now these settings are common to the article page and the blog page, but you can enable and disable the sidebar. If you'd like, you can have a search form appear, which will be specific to your blog tags and your blog content. You can have a newsletter sign up, which is just like the newsletter sign up that you'll find in the footer or in the pop-up. Can show recent articles directly in the sidebar if you were not planning on enabling the related articles section. And you can enable and disable the tag section here. Finally, this section here can display page content of your choice. So here it will list all of the pages that you have um, configured in uh, admin online store pages. So in here, you can configure a page and have it appear in that sidebar. Finally, if you happen to use uh, Discuss, you can enable Discuss and enter your username to have it linked with your Discuss comments uh, interface. So those are all of the built-in theme settings associated with um, the blog page. To uh, touch on a couple of differences between the themes, uh, the height of the banner image is really going to depend on the proportions of the image, except in the parallax theme, where this is instead a section height um, deal. And so this is sort of linked with the styling of the theme itself, um, whereas in the other themes, the height will be based on really the proportions of the image. Also, just to note, in case you were looking to configure your homepage blog feature, here I'm just going to jump over to the uh, Tokyo T homepage. Here's the blog feature here. If you're looking to control and configure it, you'll find the settings in the homepage settings as opposed to the blog settings. So here we have our blog article settings right here in the homepage settings. Um, so as much as we've talked about the configuring of your blog and the technical aspects of having your blog appear, if you were ever looking for advice on how to structure your blog posts or what kind of content and information you should include in your blog posts, there are a plethora of articles out there and I'm going to point you to a few. I'm going to include the links in the description of this video. Here's one from Shopify, why every e-commerce business needs a blog and nine ideas to get you started. So there's Shopify helping you out with some advice on content marketing. And here is one from HubSpot, why blog? The benefits of blogging for business and marketing. And so I'm going to provide these links in the um, description. And these are from the Out of the Sandbox team who helped me out with uh, the points on the, this video as well. 
Um, so my name is Sean Campbell. Thank you very much for joining me on this video about the Out of the Sandbox blog page. Take care.